prudent man foresees the difficulties ahead and prepares for them. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. That's a Proverbs uh, from the Bible. And by now, most intelligent, rational people realize that the government is not out to take care of us. They don't have our best interest in mind. We should know this after COVID, um, by seeing our borders left open. Uh, even with this recent balloon, Chinese balloon incident, uh, our government probably would have kept that hidden, maybe even would have let China just go ahead and do whatever they wanted uh, if it weren't for civilians who spotted the, the balloon up above uh, American skies. Uh, so today I want to talk about something that uh, you can you can use or you can buy fairly inexpensive to help protect yourself, to help give you a little warning if something is, if you're in danger. Um, what I'm going to talk about is this device. It's called the Nuke Alert. And it's, it's really essentially kind of a small Geiger counter. You can keep it, you know, on a keychain, on a backpack like I've got here that when I'm out hiking or doing something. Um, this little guy's hanging on there and it's there to warn me. So the Nuke Alert is essentially, as I said, a, a, a small Geiger counter. It's an, it's, a, it's an always on, meaning it's always on. You don't have to turn it on. Um, and what it does is it alerts you for nuclear radiation um, at levels that are dangerous to you. This really is just to tell you um, when you're in an area where there is enough radiation over a short period of time that could kill you, could harm you, make you very sick or very ill. So it's a, it's an early warning device. And um, as I said, it's always on. You can wear it on a keychain, on a lanyard, on your backpack. You can just keep it in your vehicle, your home, wherever you may be. And if it detects radiation at a certain level, it sets off a little alarm. Um, now, on the back of it, it does give you a little chart, and I'll kind of show you what that looks like in a larger, I don't know if you can see it there. It gives you a chart, and based on the number of chirps or beeps that this will put out, it will tell you what the strength is, the rate per hour of, uh, I forget what they call it, but it's a, it's, there's a certain term for the amount of exposure uh, of radiation. So it'll tell you what that rate is per hour based on the number of chirps. And then it'll also tell you how much time to get of that exposure you can handle uh, before you reach 100 um, R or the level of 100 that, that is deadly. Um, and it goes from days, or it goes from hours to days, based on the number of chirps that you hear. And that just gives you time to seek shelter. Um, there's certain radiation from a blast, of course, the initial blast that will just destroy, you know, structures, people, immediately. Um, there's also then the fallout, you know, a dust or a particles that, if you're exposed to that, um, it can kill you over time and you need so this gives you a warning if you hear that alarm go off to seek shelter uh get out of the clothes that might have been you know might have this radioactive dust on them uh take potassium iodine uh tablets if needed you know just to uh, kind of remove yourself from the the uh, area that's that has the highest amount of radiation you know as soon as possible so that's what this is. Um, it's self-enclosed. It's got a 10-year battery inside of it. And it's, as I said, always on. Um, you can actually, if you put it up to your ear or close to you, you will hear a little, kind of almost like a ticking noise every couple seconds. Um, that's not the alarm, but that is kind of lets you know that it is on. Uh, so... This is something I'd suggest maybe, you know, just to be ready. Uh, to, 
become more self-sufficient, self-reliant, and not expect the government to tell you, you, you know, sadly, even if we there was uh, radiation or exposure, the government, government, knowing our government would say, you know, well, we don't need to tell the whole populace because we don't want to panic or things like that. Um, that. So, you know, this lets you know, and you can buy other devices as well that give you a warning. Um, it's good to have, you know, even if possible, multiple um, and just to, you know, be prepared. And that's really what it's all about now is that we have to take care of ourselves, our family, our communities. We cannot count on the government, sad as it may be, uh, to look out for us. So this device, you can find it online. Um, I bought this one off of Amazon and I'll put a link below, I guess. I do get a little, uh, I'm affiliate, I guess, you know, if somebody buys it from that link, but I don't expect you to. Uh, but it's something, again, keychain. I know some people don't like the loop on it. They say, it, you know, it's plastic, so it, it could break or something. Uh, some people said that over, you know, if you've had this a few years on your keychain where it's rubbing against something, this little chart on the back might uh, rub off. And so I would suggest printing off a copy of it and just keeping it somewhere, you know, where you nearby, you know, if you have to, if you hear the alarm, you can look at that. Uh, it comes with pretty good instructions, detailed instructions on what it is, how it works, uh, even what to do in case, if it does go, alarm, the, you know, alert you, what you can do to be safer. It's packaged really simply in just a little uh, bubble wrap type envelope along with the instructions. Um, and it's pretty inexpensive compared to, you know, a larger Geiger counter that you, you might have or somebody might have. Um, and it does a pretty good job. I've seen some tests of it uh, and it, it it's, you know, it's not going to go off when you're at the airport or at the dentist's office unless it's really exposed to you know, enough radiation to harm you. So I put the lanyard on it instead of using it on a keychain. Then I can hang this on, you know, I can wear it myself. You know, if, if we know there's something going on, nuclear blast somewhere, you can wear it or you, you can hang it on your backpack or whatever you're carrying with you. So again, just wanted to show people this. Uh, it's been out a while. Might be something to look into. Um, you know, as far as being prepared and uh, hope this is helpful and thanks for watching. Be safe and be prepared.